Before introducing the Linux file system hierarchy on Kali, I want to cover the basic commands to navigate from one directory to another, so that you're going to be able to explore it on your own after I explain how the Linux file system works. Whenever we start the terminal, or the GNOME terminal in particular, if we installed Kali with its default desktop environment, our working directory will be the root home folder. We print the working directory with pwd. The tilde character in Linux is an alias, another name for the home directory. We change directories with cd, we get to the home directory with cd tilde, which is slash root in this case. All normal users without root privileges will be located in the dash home directory. We use the ls list storage command to list the files contained in a directory. We can also use dir, like in the Windows command prompt, but it's kind of limited, so we'll always use ls instead. I have a test user account here I've created previously. Let's get back to the root home directory. Let's see some interesting flags for the ls command. If you don't have an English American keyboard, you can type the tilde symbol by pressing right alt and the key to the left of the backspace key, like I have on my Italian keyboard. Let's take a look at other interesting flags. You can read this if you're curious. I'll show you the commands I've found to be the most useful. ls a shows you all files, also the hidden ones. In Linux, to hide files, you just prepend a dot period to the file name. If we want to list them by showing directories first, we'll use, well, the group directories first flag. Just type dash dash group, then press tab to autocomplete the command. The dash L option lists more information about the files, their permissions and their ownership. Now that we're at it, the dash H option shows human readable file sizes in bytes. To list subdirectories recursively, we can use the dash capital R flag. This is going to be messy. To break the standard output, which is the results you see in the terminal that aren't errors, in readable chunks, we can pass it to the less or the more command. Before doing so, let's see the less command in action by opening a file with it. This is a file containing the history of all the commands we've typed in as the root user. The less command just shows the contents of a file. We can use the same hotkeys that we used in the man pages of the previous video, like Ctrl F and Ctrl B, and use slash to search for words in the file. Press Q to quit. We can't edit a file with less, it just shows us its contents. The program more is a more primitive version of less. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> Sorry for the dead joke, I must be getting old. Let's, 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 let's get back to the previous ls command. By using the pipe character, we can redirect the output of the ls command to less, so that we'll be able to read it without having to scroll up. Press Ctrl F to scroll down quickly. OK, press Q to exit. And that's everything for this video. In the next one, we'll take a look at the Linux, and thus the Kali Linux, file system.